Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to use the Azure portal to create a container in Azure storage and to upload and download block blobs in that container. So I've already logged into the Azure portal and I will type in search storage accounts, select that. And I'm going to select my storage account. Now on the left side, click on containers under data storage. I'm going to click on the container button to create a new container and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this as container one. And by the way, the container name must be lowercase, must start with a letter or a number and can include only letters, numbers, and the hyphen character. Next, you are going to set the public access level and the default level is private, which is no anonymous access. And currently it is set to private. And by the way, I'm not able to make any changes to this public access level because the public access to this storage account is disabled. And you can also specify the advanced options such as encryption scope and things like that. I will leave this default and I'll click on create. All right, the container is created. Now let me show you how to upload a block blob. Block blobs comprise blocks of data that are assembled to form a blob. Block blobs are ideal for storing text and binary data in the cloud, such as files, images, and videos. So to upload a block blob to your new container, simply click on the container which you have created. And you can see I have nothing in here. I will click on upload button to open the upload blade. And now you can browse your local file system to find a file to upload a block blob. So I'm going to click on browse for files. So I'm going to upload this text file, text1.txt and click on open and click on upload. Okay, it is successfully uploaded. So I'm going to upload another file, click on browse for files and I'm going to select text2.txt, click on open. I'll click upload again. All right, this is also uploaded. So now you can see two text files which have been uploaded into this container. You can upload as many blobs as you like in this way and you will see that new blobs are now listed within the container. Next up, you can download a block blob to save to your local file system. So to download a block blob, I'm still in the container section, container one, and it lists my blob, which I uploaded. So right click on the blob you want to download and click on download. Okay, now let's see how you can delete a block blob. Simply select the blobs from the list that you want to delete. You can select one block blob or you can select multiple block blobs and you can click on delete. So it says, are you sure you want to delete the selected blobs? And you can also indicate whether you also want to delete blob snapshots. So I'm going to select that and click on OK. All right, the blobs are successfully deleted. So this is how you can create a container and upload, download and delete a blob using the Azure portal. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.